Good morning students today we are going to discuss another novel by Raja Rao and that is The Serpent and the Rope it's a Sahitya Academy winner of 1964 and the second novel by Raja Rao the plot is sort of semi autobiographical and the story has many themes such as seeking spiritual attainment east meeting west as the central character of the novel ramaswami leaves india to stay in france to find meaning of true love and to understand many existential crises under various circumstances So in this video we will discuss the summary of the novel The Serpent and the Rope by Raja Rao and we will also discuss the themes that I have just mentioned. So all right let's quickly jump on to our story with the main character of the novel Rama Swami. So Rama Swami is a young intellectual and a brahmin but he is weak physically because of his tubercular lungs. He keeps on looking for the truth behind his existence, reality and his capabilities to be able to meet his true potential. And for this he takes help of Vedantic philosophy and Adi Shankara's concept of non-dualism. Another point to remember here is that Ramaswami keeps traveling to different different places in the novel. So this novel also deals with the conceptualizations of immigration. So now what happens here is that Ramaswami has gone to study in France and at that time he was working on a thesis on Albigensian heresy and while researching on his thesis sort of PhD he married a French woman named Madeleine but now the thing that always disturbed him is that he always felt like something is missing in his life he always feel incomplete within himself He is unable to understand his life in a better way therefore he decides to put himself on the path of self discovery the beginning of the story throws light on how the relationship between rama swami and his wife medelin is not going well they are getting it difficult to have mutual understanding they have a son 7 months old but that 7 month old son died Now the health of Ramaswami's father is also decaying therefore Ramaswami decides to return to India and after a while Ramaswami moves back to India leaving his wife in France in India he meets his stepmother who took care of his father until his death she was being called Choti Ma in the novel so now the decaying father is died now They together perform all the ceremonies and last ritual after the death of his father. They go on a pilgrimage also to the holy city Banaras. And then as the novel moves forward, he once decides to return to France and meet his wife. Now here what happens is that while returning to France, he meets Savitri. Savitri studies in Cambridge. She is engaged to one of Ramaswami's friends. Savitri confesses before Ramaswami that she is not in love with his friend. Ramaswami was surprised. He assumes Savitri to be a modernized woman. How can she be like that? All the modern girls are like that only. Ramaswami has a bad image of her, but still don't know what happens. He is unable to keep himself and his thoughts out of Savitri. From now on, he keeps thinking about her and on reaching home, he also feels detached from his wife. Even Madeline is able to sense the change Rama Swami is going through. She inquires whether she has failed his god. In response, Rama Swami says that she has not failed any god or deity, but Rama Swami himself. And now while he was returning from India to France, Choti Ma gave him toe rings to give it to Madeline as blessings. But as now Rama Swami feels so distant from his wife that he rejects this idea of giving the toe rings to her. Now he does not recognize Madeline to be his wife anymore. He feels things have got seriously messed up. He is now only obsessed with the thoughts of Savitri. And after all that this has started hampering his married life with Madeline. Things start getting complicated. Now once it happens that Savitri visits Ramaswami and Madeline in France, after that Ramaswami goes to London with Savitri with the purpose of completing his research thesis. They spend time together and Ramaswami realizes that he is deeply in love with Savitri although he finds helpless to confess his love but he gives the toring that his mother that Choti Ma has given to him Savitri politely accepts them from here a new point has begun in the life of Ramaswami on the other hand in France Madeleine comes to know that she is pregnant with their second child But as the novel moves forward, Ramaswami's sister is soon going to get married, so he plans to visit his sister's wedding in India. 
As he returns to India, he feels unwell as we already know that he is weak physically because of his tubercular lungs. So he makes an emergency visits to Bangalore because of his decaying health. While he is in Bangalore, he is informed that Madeline has given a birth to their second child. But unfortunately, it was delivered before time. The second child has also died. On the other hand, he learns that Savitri has been married off also. And after a while, when he returns to France, he finds Madeline is completely detached from him. She has now become a Buddhist. And while Ramaswamy's treatment of his lungs was going on, Savitri comes to meet him. They both accept the circumstances to be their fate and acknowledge that true love is all about finding happiness and rejoicing in your partner's happiness. And in the end, Ramaswamy divorces Madeline. The difficulties, trials and turbulence that he has failed in his life make him realize that the only answer is on the spiritual path. That the answers he has been seeking for so long lie in finding a guru whom he can devote his life. Only through a guru who can take him to spiritual journey will free him from all these bondages of life. He has always felt incomplete within himself. So Ramaswamy leaves everything and begins searching for a guru. And with this, we come to the end of this novel. Let me know in the comment section below the novel you want me to cover in the next video. Also like this video and do not forget to subscribe the channel for more such updates. I will see you in the next video. That's it for this. Thank you.